Hey there YouTube, this is SMSnakes125 here with another video again, and today I'll be talking about how to set up your King Snake and the cost of setting up your King Snake. And today I'm just gonna start off right here with a 20 gallon long, which is 30 inches long, 12 inches deep, and 12 inches high. And the great thing about this tank is that it has sliding, it's the the screen is sliding, so there's no way that she can get out of that even if she tried. And now I'll be talking about the substrate. And this is actually just Aspen Sani chips that uh, is used for my King Snake substrate. It's actually a great form of substrate that you can use for mostly any type of colubrid that doesn't require much humidity. It holds moisture very well and is very easy to spot clean. And when she does defecate, the, the feces actually just lumps together with all this and it, um, it's very easy to, to clean up afterwards. So now I'll be moving on to the next topic. Okay, now we'll be talking about your lighting system for your king snake. And here I actually have two light fixtures that I use. Right here, this is a ceramic fixture that holds a 75 watt blue daylight daylight bulb, and this is used uh, 12 hours a day during the day, um, just to give her a more natural source of heat and to help me actually look for her and actually experience the cage in all of its glory, basically. And um, so this is actually great because it has this little on-off switch that I don't have to unplug the actual fixture to uh, turn it off or on. I just can press this little button right here. And this can actually hold up to 150 watts, so this will be lasting me for a while. Now moving on to the next fixture. Okay, so next I have this 100 watt in the red light night bulb that I have during the night. Just and it's 100 watts just because right now it is winter and it's a little bit warm, a little bit colder in my room during the night. So this actually is the same thing, holds up to 150 watts and has the little button, little button to turn off and on. And um, just to make sure, this is 100 watts and then this can hold up to 150 watts or smaller. So it's great for that. Now we'll be moving on to the next topic. So next I'll be talking about the under tank heater that I have on the bottom of my 20 gallon long tank. This is a 10 to 20 gallon heat pad and it's right from right here, all that. This and that, and it go and I have a hide on top of it, so it can have a hot spot of about 85 to 90. And this under tank heater is great for belly heat in snakes and help to help them digest their food and uh, make sure that they have a nice hot spot, so they can have access to uh, to thermal regulate better. Now moving on. Now with all reptiles, it, the one of the most important things to have inside of your enclosure is hides. Hides help your your animal feel secure in their enclosure and make sure that um, there's no there's no stress going on inside of the enclosure. And I have two examples of these. I have one my hot side hide. This is my um, tortoise hide that I got off Triple uh, L Reptiles, and this is actually her warm side hide. And then, um, basically, I have it on top of the under tank heater, and it creates a warm bubble of air underneath him, and she can go in there to digest her food or when she feels cold, basically. And now moving on to the next hide. Okay, so this is actually her cold side hide, and this is basically on the other side of the, the tank. Uh, for the cold side, when she want, when she feels a little bit too warm and she, and she wants to feel secure and cold at the same time, and it has this one opening here on in the front and in the back. It has this actual little cave opening, so uh, it has two entrances. It's actually a pretty big hide and pretty heavy, so she can There's no way she can tip this over or move it. So that's actually pretty good. And now we're gonna move on to the next topic, which is monitoring monitoring your temperatures. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna be talking about is how to monitor your temperature in your enclosure. And I have two forms of this. I have first of all my Vivarium Electronics TH100 temperature and humidity gauge with uh, probe and everything. And this goes on the warm side of her enclosure under the turtle hide that I showed you and it actually tells me the temperature on it and the humidity. Right now it's not in the enclosure so it's lower but it's usually about 85 to 90 degrees and the humidity is a little bit lower probably around 41, 42 percent humidity and now we'll be moving on to the other forms of monitoring your temperature. So now I'll be showing you guys my uh, analog thermometer and humidity gauges that both of them I got off kits and it basically just shows you the temperature and the relative humidity up here and I have this one on the cold side and I have this one on the warm side just to show me the ambient air temperature that's in on each side of the enclosure. And now we'll be moving on to the next topic. 
Now, one of the most common uh, pieces of, uh, of decor that you have in your enclosure is uh, water bowls. Basically, basically to help keep your animal hydrated and help keep the humidity up. And I have two water bowls in her enclosure. I have this stainless steel water bowl that I got off Dollar Tree. Uh, and it actually holds a quite, quite a bit of water, which is actually fantastic and she can fit inside if she chooses to soak and shed or anything. And then I have little rock water bowl that holds a little bit less water but she usually drinks out of this one instead of the other one I don't know why she usually, she usually does and then it actually is it looks very natural and very smooth and actually has rough edges over here so she can uh, uh, if she wants she can help use this to help her shed which is great and now we'll be moving on to the next topic which is your final decoration pieces now her final uh, decoration pieces are just uh, pieces of decoration that I use to um, spruce up the cage basically and to I have most of these help her shed a little bit too. So first off I have this big log that goes like in the middle of her enclosure and it basically just um, um, I already cleaned it and everything I got it like a couple months ago and she actually uses a lot to shed because it's a very rough surface um, and actually I have an example of her shed right here just so you guys can see. This is actually her most recent shed, and it's actually a full shed, which is great. And whenever they shed, you have to make sure that the tip of the tail comes off, which is right here. That's the tip of the tail. And then also make sure that the eye caps come off. Basically, their entire head comes off. Right here, you can see right there, those are her little two eye caps that came off. And if they don't come off, they can end up making your snake go blind, and under her chin and everything. So she had actually a perfect shed, so that's great. And now the final pieces of uh, decoration that I have in her enclosure are just uh, fake plants, basically. I have these all around her enclosure just to help her feel a little bit more secure, having a little bit more cover. This is actually a pretty long piece of um, fake plants that goes all throughout her enclosure from her cold side all the way to her to her warm side. And she uses a lot for cover and thinks that no one can see her, which is actually great, so she feels a little bit more secure inside of her enclosure. And I also have these pieces of, of fake leaves that she actually uses right here to climb on and stuff. And then I have this other piece of decoration just that I found on sales, which is pretty cool and it's weighted so she can't move it. And it has fake moss and stuff, which is actually pretty cool. And she actually uses all of this to shed, because it's actually kind of rough over here, around these areas. It's pretty rough, and then these fake plants for more cover. And now we'll be moving on to the actual snake. So this is actually my California king snake. Her name is Dakota, she is a female. And to top off your enclosure, of course, you're going to need your snake. And this is my snake. And uh, just to let you guys uh, see her a little bit better. She is black and white Aberdeen California King Snake that I got off um, Reptiles by Mac, which is actually a very good place to get your reptiles from. And now I'll be setting up the enclosure. So now I'll be passing this off to my sister so she can handle her while while I while I set up the enclosure, and I'll be right back. So now setting up your enclosure, uh, I'm gonna start off with the hides, and I'll be right back when, to let you see what it looks like. So now I have the two hides in. The warm side hide and the cold side hide, and now I'll be move, I'll be putting in uh, the water bowls. So now I have in the water bowls, I have the big one in the middle, and then I have the smaller one on the warm side. But it is not touching the under tank heater, so it won't uh, it won't be too hot for her. And that this is the one she usually drinks from because she's usually in her warm hide. She comes out and pokes her head and just drinks from the small little bowl. And then when she's in shed, she usually goes she usually soaks a little bit inside of. The bigger, the bigger bowl, but make sure that your snake isn't soaking too much because that is a sign that they have mites, and that is bad. But my king snake does not have mites. And on the warm side, I forgot to tell you guys, there is a thermometer in there that is over here, just to make sure that that the temperature is correct. And now we'll be moving on to the final pieces of decoration. So now I have in um, all the fake plants and the log. The log is actually under all those fake plants. And then I have my cold side thermometer and my warm side thermometer on that side. And now I'll be putting in the light fixtures. And you always need a form of controlling your temperatures. So in this case, I have my Zoom Med rheostat on here that I connect my under tank heater or my uh, light fixtures to. 
and it basically has this this four settings off low med medium and high and so i just can dim dim down the light or dim it up just to have the perfect temperature on which is actually really good i really recommend this product and now we'll be moving on to the actual enclosure so basically this is the finished product with all the decoration pieces in there and now i'll be talking about the cost of each one so the the actual tank is about $40 uh, and then the light fixtures are $13.99 each um, so $13.99 for, for this one, $13.99 for that one and then that height is about $10 the digital thermometer is about $10 and then also uh, for some reason the analog ones are also $10 and then I have the water bowl which is about $4 and I have that one for $1 at Dollar Tree and then this one was $3 the little uh, weighted plant and then the fake plants were about all uh, four bucks and then the log I found it outside and then I cleaned it and then uh, that other piece of fake plants was about another four dollars so all together if you add everything together with the snake let me show you her real quick so now I have my California king snake here and all together with the entire enclosure and the snake itself it is about maybe two hundred dollars it would take a little bit more uh, the actual setup is about $174 if I'm not mistaken, uh, maybe almost close to $180, and the snake itself, this one, this black and white Auburn California King Snake, was about $50. Uh, so altogether, it was about maybe $200, $220, give or take a few, a few uh, supplies or not. And now uh, I'll be sh I'll be showing you her inside of the enclosure. So now I'll be showing you her in her actual enclosure. I'm putting her in. There we go guys, and it, as you can see, she actually loves her enclosure very much, and this has been SM Snakes 125 with another video, and I thank you for watching.